okay so we're working on two point eight just getting a little bit of help here with set up we're gonna do question number four we have a satellite that's going to orbit around the surface of Jupiter we know that Jupiter's mass and radius and so we go to find the orbital speed that's just our V satellite okay the velocity of the satellite is always the square root of universal gravitational constant times the mass of the planet in this case it will be Jupiter over the radius of orbit uh, things we have to be kind of aware of um, you know gravity's uh, universal constant it's constant so 6.673 e negative 11 or times 10 to the negative 11 the mass of Jupiter is given and it needs to be in kilograms which it's given in kilograms 1.9 e 27 for our kilogram value um, and then we have to divide by the radius. Now we have to remember the radius of the orbit is not the distance above the surface of the planet. We have to include the distance from the center of the planet to the surface. And so we have 6 e5 meters above the surface, but we have to add to that the thickness of the planet, which is 7.14 e7, if I'm reading all those numbers right. If I read one wrong, my bad, you can yell at me later. But let's go ahead and grab our calculator and let's make that calculation. I'm going to do this really slowly. And the one that I worry the most about is the denominator. Um, and so that's actually where I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to start with 6e5 plus 7.14e7. I'm going to hit enter. That is my denominator. Okay. And so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to create the numerator 6.673e negative 11 times 1.9e27. Uh, and I can divide that by my previous answer to get enter uh, that value. Now that has not been square rooted yet. So I'm going to square root that by putting the square root and selecting that previous number uh, to get 41,963. So 41963. 41963 meters per second. Now for sig fig purposes, if you look at those numbers, they were three sig figs based on the number of digits which means I'd have to cut it right there. The 6 is going to kick the 9 to a 10, which is going to turn this into uh, 42,000 meters per second. That's how fast a satellite would have to be going to orbit Jupiter at this specific height. And you'll notice they do the 4.2 times 10 to the 4th. I, on numbers like this, it's not astronomically large yet, so I think that'd be okay. Um, at any rate, that's it, guys. The problems are set up and work pretty much just that way.